It is finally the time. Welcome to Mana Lords. Thank you for being here and thank you Slavic Magic and Hooded Horrors for the early access key. I cannot wait to bring this game to you. This gameplay over here is going to be the very beginnings of this game. We're going to take it slow, in detail, step by step, and we're going to test a couple more things in uh, future videos. But today we have the full experience and we're going to start a brand new game. And what better way to start this than with Lord Chair, which is obviously also going to be our name. And if you don't know what this all is about, you, you need to stick to our channel a little bit longer, I guess. And what better image to start with? I think, you know, this this is this is Lord Chair's picture. Um, yeah, we don't need to do more because we have our custom banner and uh, let's go and do some chill uh, building. We are starting with Rise to Prosperity um, because I don't really want to, you know, have too many disturbances at the beginning. As you know, I am way more into building at the moment and we're going to test all the combat later. So don't worry, it's going to be done. It's going to be in. So we are going to do this. Also, I should say, we started with a balanced out resources at the beginning, so uh, we put it on peaceful a little bit more regarding uh, the battle and so on, but it's gonna be on balanced for the resources. Now, we have a new message at the beginning, and a victory condition is growth. This is what we want to see, and we are going to do this. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful... Well, we're gonna see about that. Management. Reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. Afterwards, um, you'll be able to continue playing. This is true for all the different stuff. And you will always have these uh, tutorial things over here. Um, I'm gonna skip them for now, but I will do a tutorial on this game, which is gonna be uh, towards the early access. Um, also, let's... Um, game paused at the beginning. This is for all good survival games. Don't leave the game running in the background because that's going to be disturbance. Anyways, we're going to skip the tutorials for now. I tested a couple of things already, but I want to have the full experience and we are going to start off. Now, uh, as you can imagine, and I won't go into every little detail, we are going to learn the UI and stuff like that uh, over time. Oh, wait, first of all, we have to rename our city. This is not going to be Nusshole. What, what, what the hell is this name over here? Uh, this is Chat Town. Okay. Chat Town is what we start first. This, by the way, is the development tree, which is brand new. At least if you've played the demo, uh, you didn't know about that. But this is where you need to uh, put your points wisely. You're going, uh, gaining points as you develop your town and you get these to spend on developments. And you can see you can do some trapping, forest management, uh, beekeeping and so on. So you can collect honey, for example, or you go into uh, making sure to have some more farms. You can have apples, uh, you can have sheep breeding, uh, a heavy plow to go uh, plow uh, to go better all your fields and all these other things. But we are going to start at the beginning. And one thing I want to show you just because I found it so cool is some things if you go on settings down here you have the settings right in front of you if you go over settings into the menu you have the full menu overview i like these little things because you you keep watching what you're seeing and one thing i wanted to point out is that you can change the sharpening manually which is pretty damn cool and you can go to medium and you can see it looks a lot more sharp from the building perspective if you will or you can go to very high and it's looking actually over sharp and i'm gonna turn it to off because i like the look the way it is um, and what you can also do is you can save a camera location. So, for example, if we keep it to this location over here because we want to see the growth over time, what we do have to do is just control shift and, for example, one. Now we have uh, actually put our camera location and if I have shift and one, we fly back to this camera position, which is pretty damn cool because that means if you then hold down control C, you get rid of the UI and you can see everything developed from over here, which I think is beautiful. And as soon as you move your mouse, everything else is also not moving. Hitting uh, control C again will bring you back into the normal menu um, and you can keep on going. But um, now, without further ado, let's just have a little look at what is going on over here. We've a little tents over here. Hans is uh, waiting for an, uh, using two ends. What the heck? Uh, Toman is also in our family. We've got Anna talking to Peter. Uh, I only know Heidi talking to Peter. Anyways, and we've got another Hans over here. Seems to be a common name. And Thomas. Everyone is awaiting some tasks. And obviously, we also have our wonderful hitching post with our ox. And we 
also have some more people over here. Let's see who else is. Uh, we've got Barbara. Barbara Streisand. Nah, 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 nah. And Fritz, look at that. The name of the little plushie that my daughter loves so much. Fritzy, which is a meerkat. Anyways, uh, enough trivia. Let's go into building. And this is gonna be awesome because we will start off uh, very strong and we have to decide where certain things go. Um, I feel like this is a very strong point over here. One thing I need to know first of all is, and I need to see the underwater ground. Oh, look at that. This is beautiful. There is the water supply. So this can absolutely be our town center. And then we've got some other stuff over here. What the hell? This is a clay deposit. Very nice indeed. Um, how about the fertility? It's very good in here. Ah, that's not too good. What about the flax? Okay, it's more like up there. Rye is also in here. Very nice. So, okay, so that's a bit unfortunate that we have all the fields may go here because that's where the fertility is. So we may or may not actually start more down to this little forest that we chop the forest away and make this our center. And we've got the water over here. That could be a thing. Um, so we actually move our supplies and everything else uh, over here rather quick because yet again um, We have to plan this a little bit nicer. So if this is the underground water There is the border of our town, which we may not want to meet at the beginning Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go down here a little. This is a nice spot already between here We've got some trees and stuff and we keep the fertile land to the north. Uh, so that's gonna be what we're gonna do Okay, so we gonna first of all plan out a couple things because uh, before I hit play what we want to do First things first is we're gonna plan out a little road and this is gonna be here where I want to have some of the first buildings planned out. So this is going to be that. And we have another one going rather over here. That's nice because we can then put our plots down here rather at the beginning. So let's put the residential buildings all the way um, down here. Right at the beginning. Two or four. Um, I do hope though. Wait, before I build this. Uh, let me just see. Gathering. The, see, this, the logging camp costs two, because before I would have done it, we've got eight timber at the moment. So we built the logging camp as the very first thing we do. And we're going to put this over, let me just think about this. We're going to put this, actually, we, we're going to take this one down here. So I'm going to put this over here. And this is going to be plopped over here. No worries, you can also move your buildings. You don't need to make them snap. You can also put them down yourself. So this is when, uh, where this logging camp is going to go. And honestly, we can already put speed in and priority is going to be the highest. Um, and after that, what we want to do is we want to go and give them a building. So how many logs do we have left? Okay, so uh, let's put the buildings down here then let's start with two actually we could have three over there Some this is not too shabby we have got some soon. gardens and three houses which goes quicker and it's actually nice to have that so this is what we do first and now the problem is obviously they Can need I to build first drink? and um let me just quickly do this and then once we've built this thing over here, we can make them chop some there trees and get some more logs, which is exactly what we need. Let's have a look until this is done. And bam, there you go. Assign two people actually, just to make sure they are going to chop things very fast. Ooh, the first trees are falling. Look at them, they're chopping them uh, very nicely. All the branches are gone and fallen trees everywhere. Look at that, oh, it's falling down. There you go, Blam. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go back to normal speed because they have already finished one of these beautiful things over here. And you can see the burgage plot is done and we can assign something. And we can either have vegetables or we can have a goat shed. Uh, which, let's first of all go to vegetables. I think this is kind of good that we have this. Um, and you, you see that we will need homes for our people. As you can see over here, at the moment we have got uh, one living place and uh, two are planned, but we do have five families in total. Um, so we need to give them all living space. And as soon as we provide them with more living space than we have people living here, people will actually move into our settlement, which is exactly what we need because um, we need workforce. This is the very first focus I'm gonna do. Um, so we have them all in here. So you can see we are now having four timber again and they are giving us all the stuff we need. So 
Winter is far away, so we don't need to worry about firewood as of now. We will need to worry about this rather in the future, but not as of now. So we are waiting for that. Let me see if I can squeeze in a lot over here. I just like this place. Uh, is it too small? Can I... Too steep to build, actually. Okay, what about keeping that? Okay, well then. Then we don't do this over here. So, I'm going to keep this here. Um, let's see if we can plop another one down here. Or maybe another two. Let's see. Ah, yeah, that's sweet. Let's plop them down. So, we've got five in total. Um, and I want to expand to this side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a road right next to here. Like this. And I'm going to build this so we can put some more houses down here. What I want to do at the very beginning is I want to fill out a market space. And that's going to be right in the center here. I think this is a beautiful location for our marketplace. And what we will also need is a well of some sort. Uh, wait, where do, we have, where do we have the well? This is a forager hut. We should also put this down rather soon. Where is the berry? The berries are, oh my god. They're so far away. Hmm... Okay, let's plop it down here so they don't need to walk that far. But I'm also going to bring a pathway then over to this one. There you go. Well, and if you don't have enough resources, obviously, uh, you can't place things down. Uh, we can still plan where we want to have it going. But you can see um, we don't have that many water resources over here. So I want to put like a well over here in a second. Um, and then we will have some more over the, this side. I think also the, 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 the village over here may actually look super nice over time. You know, as soon as we go over here. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I think, you know, what's also pretty cool is if we load our camera position up here, um, it's going to be very neat. Also, what we can also do is if we figure out now, oops, there's like a little autosave. Um, if we figure out that this may not the best location, we can also put this down a little like so and put it obviously to two. And now we have it saved to two and shift two brings us up back here. And control C gets us down into this mode. Oh my God, that looks absolutely beautiful. You cannot... Ah, oh, I understand how much I'm enjoying to play over here right now, guys. This is, uh, this game is something I've been waiting for for so long because of all the organic building styles and stuff like that. But as you can tell, we need to make some progress over here. And um, I want to say, let's put the priority on the buildings, the highest, these two. And then I did give them the job to build this. Where is the where's the building I built? There you go. Uh, on medium. That's good. It's planned. And you know what? Let's just take that opportunity to go and check out that little uh, that little time lapse mode until these buildings are built. Isn't that wonderful? We just have a couple more things built over here. Uh, and what we got to do now is very important. So we have to get someone to the granary and also to the storehouse. Let's see how many timber we have. So for the moment, we can get rid of one person in the logging camp. Um, and the good bit is now we have a lot of housings uh, in here, which is uh, pretty good because that means we've got more housing than we have families to provide with. And this means we have uh, some appeal to get more people into our living area. However, you can see we have some issues. We've got the exposed goods and we've got this one. And this is why I employed two people uh, to get the stuff in here because they will now take our storage and bring this into our actual storage over here. Um, so can we relocate this one? We can actually relocate this hitching post, which is pretty damn good. So I'm going to relocate this one over here. And obviously, this will be taken over, hopefully. As you can see, they do noise. Okay, for now, we can spend one point, And I'm still not sure on what I want to put this. So we've got trade logistics. Establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wells. We don't even have the wealth as of now, so that doesn't make too much sense. Foreign supplies, new building firewood cart, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wells. Okay, a new building food cart, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of bread. Hmm, not sure if I want to go to this one. At a plowing, uh, plowing, uh, anybody knocks on, uh, at the farmhouse for sick and fast, uh, plowing fields. This could be a good thing to be honest. Um, Produce apples until trees are fully grown, which takes around three years. Or just produce. Okay, we don't do this. Forest management doubles capacity of all berry deposits. Maybe we want to do this at the beginning, to be honest, because they will be our main source of uh, income and also uh, 
at this point. We're going to do this. We're gonna, I think this is good. Forest management has been researched. Um, and we can also see there is like one market stall. Look at that. Um, and this one is going to give us some food variety and stuff. Okay, well, that is that is fantastic. Now, this is done. We are still in April. I think we had a good start. And they will be doing this hopefully rather quick. Uh, hopefully, they are going to take this all over. We've got some workforce. Uh, I want to plan out even more lots for the people to live in. So, what I feel like the best thing to do would be... This is our main center of interest over here. And we do have the logging camp on this side. There is still some forest over here. But... But this is the interesting stuff. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it that way, and see what we can do with this. Four houses is great. I'm gonna build four houses here uh, to provide even more space for them to live. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure that we have also gathering over here um, a woodcutter at lodge because we will need firewood at some point. And I don't want to take it too long to make it work. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this thing. Yeah, I think somewhere over here would be good anyway. So let's just rotate this into a nice space. There you go. A little bit of, you know, tilt is also nice. So it's fine. Um, and I'm not sure if we need the saw pit as of now. But I'm going to put this down just so we have it. Right next to this one. Gosh, a, a kind of anarchy mode over here for building would be nice too. Um, so I'm just gonna, gonna plop this down and make this nice connection. Sweet, look at this. Yeah, our town is growing and I'm loving it. Look at that little logo, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we got to check in here. That is nice, we bring all the stuff in. Yeah, we don't have enough wells to make it work, but let's have a look over here. Is anyone working here? There's one person working, pantry. Good, okay, I think it's time to sped up the process again and have a look where this is leading us. All right, we are greeted with a little message over here. We are running out of fuel, which means we do not have any firewood left. Um, however, we are already about to solve this issue by putting these things down over here. You can see the woodcutter's lodge is almost done. Um, and we can bring this in here. As soon as it's done, we will employ someone and things will be good. There you go, it's done. And we have someone employed. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone else to build then, which is a bit of an issue. Um, but here you go, we have this wonderful uh, area and we can have this work. Now, what we can do now is as all the goods are provided, we can at least get rid of uh, this person. So this person can actually uh, keep on building as soon as we have new families get in. Um, hopefully this is uh, growing us a little bit quicker. This is all what we need to target at, uh, making sure that people coming in and we can grow our wonderful village to, you know, a very nice new part. We have, oh, look at that, we have so many new things. Um, let's have a quick look how we are doing on storage in general. Like, we do have, let's have a look, um, timber is still okay, I mean, obviously we don't have that much else, then we've got uh, berries quite a lot, we have a couple of eggs now, we've basically no firewood at all, we've got crops, none of these, and that's basically about it. Generic storage is full, which is that from a saw pit block storage, why is there someone even doing that it doesn't make any sense okay whatever uh so there's someone working over here that's nice we've got one workforce and we need to ensure that people are coming in to live with us because otherwise we have some issues uh this dude over here is producing some vegetables which is great i guess um so i like this uh, this is good this is this is some good stuff and uh, what we can do now is we can keep on building certain things that we may need so we could also go for a hunting camp if we know where is the hunting ground Ooh, that's actually quite far away to be honest that's a little bit too far away for our liking at the moment uh, but what we could do we could start to do a farm farm Shall we put a farmhouse down? I mean, why not? We can literally put it here and establish the farm right behind because, I mean, this is legit the space we have. So Come let's pop on, the farm right behind here. Wait, why did I... Can I edit this? 
Um, I, I should have just alone? do this like so and like so. Ah, look at that. Oh my god, this is just this is just snapping nicely. Let's see if we can bring it all the way down here. I like that. That looks a lot more organic than I thought it was. Look, this is kind of neat. Can I put like another field behind? Ooh, I can. Oh, look at that. Wait, can I squeeze a small one in here too? I just well, want to have a small a one. Uh, look, that works. Oh, I love that. Oh, wait, this was... Oh, no, it does work. Ooh. Oh, my God, that looks so cool. That looks so freaking awesome. Okay, and then I can say, like, okay, we're going to go with wheat in here. And we're going to go... Yeah, so, I mean, this is the only one we can do, basically, you know. I've got three fields of wheat. Three fields of wheat. Some foodies, too. <laughs> okay, well, we need more people in our town. I'm, 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 I'm really confused because the first time I played, people came in a lot quicker. And I'm not sure what I did wrong or different this time around. Now, the first time around, I basically didn't think. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why. Um... Okay, so this is this is interesting. Hitching post, we have that one. All right, there we have it. Families coming in slowly. Uh, I think this the the reason for them not coming in earlier was because I had, didn't have any firewood, and so I changed a couple of things, and uh, we have now some people getting into our town again. And we also have like a windmill over here. Uh, obviously, we don't even need to have them work right now because obviously the fields uh, are just being built on, so it doesn't make any sense. But we can make maybe more people work on the farm and well as soon as people live in i mean we've got only one person go on berries so we're gonna go two on berries at the moment it's it's totally fine so a generic storage is full what do you say it's still that one i don't i still i mean i need to employ someone can you just get rid of it construction reserve okay well if i do it on one whatever i'm gonna keep it that way um so this is sweet and we're just waiting for people to join our settlement because we still have some empty uh, plots over here. So you can see uh, they are joining into our houses. So there is someone now living in here, as you can see. We can upgrade this at a certain point. Not quite now, but uh, this is kind of what's that? expand living space. Doubles the maximum count for this. Let's do that. Ooh, I have not seen that before, but this is interesting. So we can make this grow bigger. Interesting, interesting. So how much firewood do we have left, by the way? Uh, firewood, okay, this is fine. So we can get one person out of here for the moment. So you you can keep building and do... What does change when we've done? Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I didn't know you can do... Oh, that is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, wait, can I do this with more houses too? Does this one has an upgrade? Okay, there's no one living in here. How about the others? Okay, well, there everyone is living in here, but they can't really... I mean, you can upgrade the bur their, their plots to their other crops and stuff, but... Ah, okay, so now I got this. This is the upgrade lot they have. This was not available in the demo, and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, we've got two workforce left over, which I like. So, um, there's two people still working in here. They are still doing the fields. Look at that. It's crazy. Look at August. Uh, do we get the yield? We don't get the yield, but it's okay. For the next year, it should be all good. Um, how about our winter's food? 60 months fuel. Okay. Let's go a bit more on fuel. And for the time being, a bit more on here. And um, how about the berries in general? Seasonal. Okay. We can get one little that uh, goes out here. So that's fine. And we can almost start preparing for more. Okay, so I think we have we've made ourselves a very good starting condition at this point. Um, everyone has great access to certain things. Uh, we've got nice stuff uh, ready to go. Um, we don't. I think we need to focus on trade now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trading post, and I think we should move. I mean, looking at the at the map, it makes a lot more sense to go to the north rather to the south because that's the that's the border of the map. So what I think would be clever is to just go here and make sure that we don't... Uh, uh, let's see the 
fertility yeah is still in the in the center over here maybe you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna think loud out out loud here i think the best idea would be to put these things both here just like there and then we're gonna keep this open uh to be like a little bit of a plaza i think this is a good idea to keep it that way um look we've even more people joining our population which i think is absolutely great um I love how there, how there is something growing still. I like that. I mean, more, maybe more is growing next year, but that's okay. Uh, we don't have any more points, do we? No, we didn't grow that much more. Uh, do we still have empty spots? 12 living space and 9, nine families. So we still have some more stuff. Um, we can't do trade as of now because we didn't have trade unlocked. I think this is what we need to do over here as well. Trade logistics... Yeah, okay, we don't have that, okay. Uh, and we don't also have the wealth of it. That means we need to build administration first to get this, right? Um, grants, so influence, and rise level, which, okay, this is what we can do after we have some more other resources. Um, I guess this is also the point where we have the first person work in the soppet to get ourselves some planks. And we also need to check where we can get some stone from. Let's see. <sighs> really? That is quite far off. Um, <coughs> look, we've got a lot of wood over there, which is nice. This forest is going to go. Yeah, well, I think there is no other way um, than just connecting our settlement nicely. Let's meander through the forest a little. Just to make it more beautiful. You know? And we're just going to bring it over here. Sweet. And then, I mean, what do we need to do? I mean, I mean we, we need to put it down... Um, and go to mining, I guess it is. And the stone cutter camp needs to go here. I think I'm going to put a storehouse here. Because otherwise they need to just bring it all the time. I think this is the smartest way of doing it. And then they can easily go there and, and work for us. But I want to give them access to what's needed. And that, that is water at the end of the day. Um, maybe... Look, I think this is fine. This is pretty damn good. Okay, so we've got done this. These two families, they have access to that, they have access to that. I mean, they would need to go to the market still, but I feel like the way it is. Also, can I get rid of pathways? I've, I've never thought about that, but if I put the road tool, can I? I can't. It needs ale to function. We don't have ale, but we can do this, but we don't have enough of those things. Not enough goods. Okay, we need to wait until um, we have enough of the planks which are about to be produced, so that is a good one. Look, I didn't think we have these yields grow in November. Do they do anything? Like, does it make sense to force early harvest? I think we need to do this so that they're going to, to, to harvest this now. Because otherwise, that makes no sense. Look, we've got so many people joining in, which is I think is pretty dang good. Uh, do these buildings... I mean, they provide with living space, and these are done too. Oh, it's not fully built. But I feel like it's a good idea to keep them on build, because we've got enough people who are not working, so that is good. Oops, where's my settlement? The snow makes me confused. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that. Just, just like, oh. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. It looks so good. It's just so freaking awesome. Shall we Shall we just jump in real quick and have a look of our settlement? Oh boy. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on look at this, my friends. We are just walking around our own settlement. Whoops, why is the ground so wobbly? <laughs> the ground, she drank never. Come one, I doubt it. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Look at that. We're on the marketplace. Firewood. You'll not find Is that like actually berries over else. here? Keep your half warm and your home cozy. Look. What are you selling to us, by the way? You'll not find finer wares anywhere Reps else. And cabbage. Bread. Freshly baked and still warm for you. And in here there's nothing. Okay. That is very interesting indeed. And it looks all so good. I mean this Don't could be, be easily in a roleplay game and I would just just completely buy it. Can I go into the house? No, I can't. I want to have my own house. Can I check out what do you have back here? It's just like a little storage shelter from the 
Oh, I can't even go through here. But look, they have like a little tiny... Oh, that is so cool. Like you can go into the plots from the backside as well. Oh my god, this is... This is so freaking good. <laughs> this is so awesome. Gosh, I can't stop. This is so good. This is just carrying a tool over here, right? With the, it comes out with the, with the big axe. Look at that one. It's not even that big of an axe. It looks like you can deal with that nicely. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I, you know, this is, this is not good. I could actually, I could just do this all the time. So how about our uh, planks? We need 15 planks, that correct, to build the, the church. I think giving them the church may actually make them very happy, especially in the winter times. Farming, we just began with that, so that is okay. We can't really do anything about the windmills as of now, so trade is almost done, I guess. But, you know, we can't trade at the moment uh, because, obviously, we don't have trade unlocked, right? Locked because trade rule is set to no trade. I mean, this is not the rule. I just don't have it unlocked, I guess. This is why. Um, and also, I think when we go here, trade point... You know, I can't, I can't do a new one. So this is, this is definitely something we need to access then later, I guess. Wait, let's go back in here. There you go. Okay, so everything is nice. We've got a lot of families unemployed. So let's get them back into construction. How many? We've got enough timber, so we don't need to get anyone in here. Mm, did they collect anything in here? Did we have Vegetables. anything? Not get really. Pantry one. <laughs> One, one kilogram of grain, whatever that makes it for. Anyways, let's speed up again and also let's see if we can find a good camera position. Uh, there's not really that much to see in winter anyways, uh, but I'm, I'm still going to just speed up the whole process because um, we can just wait now until we have enough at least for firewood is good. Some eggs come in, some berries, some vegetables. We should definitely make it. Uh, planks being produced. How about the stone stone cutting process in the background here? Is it finally built? No one wants to come building in here. How about putting this on higher priority? Come on, do this. How what about our buildings over here, by the way? Okay, now everything is under construction. No one seems to really care about it. What the heck? My other Look, it's done. Finally, stone cutter camp is done. And also our storehouse should be done. Okay, fine. So get one person working here and one person working here for the moment. Construction finish, burgish lot, lovely. So I'm gonna get to chop some stones for us and we've got this. So the trade route should now be established, I should say. And then we also have a wonderful plot over here. Look, immediately someone just joined in this one, which makes a whole lot of sense. Lovely, look, this is all done. And I'm still debating with myself where I want to put the church because I'm not sure how many of those you would build. And I'm not sure if you can upgrade them later, but I feel most like it's a good it's a good location. It's a good location. We've got more than enough forest up here. It's it's totally good. Um before they, you know, look, everyone is joining in. We've got 13 families now in. Oh, this is 14 families. Awesome. This is so good. This is so good. That's going to be helpful when we join the next... Uh, we're already in February, so the snow is about to go. And we survived our first year. It looks. It's so freaking good. And everything is starting to look nice. And I think the next thing I'm going to focus on is checking out my administration levels. Um, we are not at small village right now. Chat Town is doing good. So gonna Public orders are good. Chat down. Oh, look at that. This is next settlement level, medium village. Uh, Burgage pots level two or higher. We need two of them. Okay, so we need to upgrade those as soon as we can. Um, and what, what do we need? We need level... The loot uh, generated one reading levels for family per month. Unlocks intention. So what do we need to get this? Clothing stall supply. I think this is what we need to do. And the church. So these are the two things we need to do. So church is about to be done. Um... Another question is, how do we get the, what is the other one? Clothing stall. So what we got to do is a sheep farm. And they collect wool. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put this here. And then we're going to make this one, two, three, build. This is a very straight one, but I think it's fine. Um, I think I can do these two. 
and have the sheep farm. Hopefully someone is working over there and then we should be good. Also, how about the churchy? Is churchy done? It's almost done. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. I really do like how this is going. 15 by 19 houses. So houses, houses is fine. Look, church is done. Oh, we can assign a family. Ooh. This one's good. This one's really good. Look. Fine, we've got a church. And we've got sheep farmers also done. Also, we should slow down for the moment because we just expanded rather quickly, which I don't want to do. Um, pasture space is 0 out of 5, which is good. We don't have any livestock, obviously. So if we get one in, we have to check how we do this with the trade now. Well, I guess I have managed myself into a little bit of a dead end here. Um, but we can fix this by having a wonderful uh, flux field over here. It's not like the bestest of... Uh, uh, resources over here but what we can do is we can make this and then we can use our uh, industry to make some linen over here uh, so yeah we definitely need to have someone make the field this is very important uh, second year third year fellow we can also just do that the same thing which is good and we're gonna put the fi field priority to high because we need um, the reason why I'm doing this is because to upgrade the buildings we need to give them a clothing stall supply and we can only have this if there is linen or leather or yarn available. The problem is neither linen, uh, yarn, nor wool we can do. The only thing we can do is linen because of the flax and yeah, that's that's the main thing why I'm doing this because we can't get a sheep. So we have we have sheep, so that's good, but we like we have a sheep farm. We don't have sheep, but you know, yeah. Joke's on me. That was stupid. Uh, we still have people working over here. You can see they have no access to a, you know, to a foot stall and stuff like that. But <coughs> yeah, it's not here. So we can do this. But uh, we are good to go to level up our buildings and stuff like that. But we have to ensure to now go to the next level. And all I'm doing now is to give the people a bit more access to several um, things. And making sure that we have more people living in our area and we have to take care of food so what we can do afterwards is already a commu communal of oven 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 uh, which i want to put down here and i think this is good need to focus a little bit on where i want to go mm. speaking of i think i'm gonna just connect those things here look that looks fine and then we can put not some more fields down here too, because like this is the fertile land. I wanna I wanna put down another field. Fields of green, red roses too. There you go. Look, that looks so beautiful. And I wanna just right away make this lot too. Look, this is fine. And then we can give this. I mean, that's also flex 16%. It's not too it's not too good, but it's okay. And I think after years, the fields may actually become better once you've uh, had a follow-up crop and so on. I remember that that was a thing too. Um, let's see how many families. 17 families by 19 buildings, okay. A little bit of space left, but it's okay. Mm. And as soon as this dude is going to work... Oh, this is the, um, the wrong one. This is the one that we need. Um, there is no storage inside because obviously at the moment they don't have any flax. But I hope that this is going to work. Crop growth, 5% in May. Yeah, we may actually get it done. Uh, how about this one, by the way? Crop growth is 81%. How good. So. They're just seeding, right? Yeah, okay, well, that is... Maybe the next year is going to be even better. Food is still okay, 12 months, so we are not running into any issues, which is rather good. God, I'm so caught in this game. This is going to be so good. All right. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, I feel like this is way more than I thought it was going to be. And it's looking super nice. You know what we can do? There's not really that much cosmetic stuff in here. But we can put a, put a shrine here and one here just to make that nice looking. And then this area over here is going to be like a little bit of a cozy park. Not sure what we can do later on to make it good. But... Um, also, why do we need dyers for? What do we need them for? I don't know. We could put this one later on down, but it's okay. Um, okay, to, to finish that off, I'm going to leave this as a little time lapse. Months. 
All right, you've seen we, we made some good uh, progress over here. I believe we now have finally buildings going to level two. As you can see, they are all under construction, as you can tell over here, um, which will then grant us access to the trade logistics, which is basically what we are going to do uh, next in order to get ourselves some livestock and so on, what we need. Um, I've also done some stuff like the clay pit and so on. You can see we do have a couple of families. We have 22 um, families of level one and 23 uh, of level two well which equals to 25 and we have 28 houses so that is all good oh my god what was that all right just as winter is approaching i just figured that we do have too little uh, fuel but that shouldn't be too much of an issue uh because we can just go in oops that's the wrong one um and oh my god look at that we just uh increased our development points so there you can see um we are now chat town we went one up to medium village how good is that and i also put some more people in the woodcutters lodge i'm wondering though if we have enough because this is i relocated our woodcutter somewhere down here remember and uh we are actually getting slowly but steadily out of uh locks in the environment so I believe that at some point we need to relocate our things. Oh, actually our logging camp is going to be put over. Um, we have enough timber for the winter, so that shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Um, in fact, let's actually put the highest uh, priority on that one. So they do this first and we're going to spend our point. And this is definitely going to go to... Uh, what's that? We're going to go to trade logistics. That's what we do. Okay, fine. We've spent it there. And I really do hope that this enables our trade. Uh, we're going to go and uh, have a look at the trade points. So this is cheap. This is a communal oven. Didn't do anything, I guess. Uh, do we have pantry? I think there's nothing really. We have a bit of stuff here. So I'm not sure why they're not getting it. But I feel like we also need a new storehouse to bring this in. We have enough people working over here, but it's almost filled in. Can I upgrade this one? Uh, increase generic storage to 2,500. Okay, well, I need to do this first, um, which I don't even know where I do this, but okay. Um, I can do this over here. Increases pantry to... Ah, this is because of the resource. We didn't have enough resources. Now we have. Okay, let's do this. Upgrading. There you go. So we can uh, get some more stuff in there. Okay. Um, we've spent this. So let's have a look. I totally forgot where I put this trading post. Um, Firewood. That was... Well, somewhere over here, I believe it was. Livestock. And this is where we need to go. So let's go to trade. Okay, I still have something about the trade rule. Well, okay, I was actually stupid. I just need to go to trade and then say import, and you can see the desired surplus at uh, this point. I'm gonna go to two, and you know what? I just wanna have also import an ox, for example. And uh, is there anything else? I think, you know, we can have horses maybe later on. I don't know. But what we're gonna do over here is we are obviously going to have someone work in here. We don't have a family for that. So uh, basically, I need to sell certain things to get some uh, import export price. So that is very important. Um, really not that getting that much money for that. But planks should be the way to go for us to get some wealth because at the moment we only get it via tax from the people and we need to sell more goods to make it quicker. However, these things have to be built rather quick now to make more families move in. Um, we are in November, so winter is approaching. We can't really do that much in winter anyway, so we can get people out of the farms to uh, move forward. Um, so this one is done. Let's go this to high as well. And all the way over here, just gonna get people out of the forager hut. Let's have a look how much food we have, 30 months. That is totally fine. And I got also more people to build a, look at that, new family. That is actually needed. Um, so that's awesome. And we've got more people working in here now. So that should definitely work. Unlimited, that's all good. We don't need to really do anything about this. Uh, Stonecutter camp is full. I mean, there's, yeah. We definitely have to have more like trade going on between those areas because they really don't do anything. So I, I wonder if it helps to put like an ox uh, thingy over here. Let's go to logistics and um, have a look if we can do this. So hitching post is basically something I want to put down here just to ensure that they can bring stuff over with the wagon. Um, that should be good. Um... And also not sure if I, you know, this station over here, it, it means like use this building to set up a barter connection. It's allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Um, I'm not sure if it's working in the same region as well. That would be interesting. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to put it down. It, it will be uh, important anyway. So we have so much stone actually. 
How many people are working in here? No one actually is. So there's just one person over here. Is there no one working? That is interesting. Three families are free to work for us, which is good. Um, I may or may not actually put another storage down to just have it in the meantime in the middle. So I'm going to put another uh, storage building down. So this is going to be a storehouse, which is going to be put right over here. And then we're going to have a little road connection in the middle of those two, just to have it nice and shiny and so on. I also plotted out like a little market area in the middle. Not sure if you saw that on the speed build, but they can very well put uh, storages in here. I've not seen them putting down some houses, but I do hope the further we get into the gameplay, that should work. Um, also not sure if we can change anything about this one. Look, upgrade to a small stone church. We do come need on, um, some of the mining stuff. We should definitely search. invest in that soon. We have a lot of workforce. We have... Uh, People being very happy, we have food. Fuel is kind of an issue here. Um, you know what you're gonna do? We are going to build. I think we will need this anyways, but um, I may actually put down another woodcutter's lodge that is gonna make us some firewood. And I'm gonna put this down here because that is where we are going to crop down this forest over here anyways. Oh, I'm going to, oh is this, actually no, you know what? I'm just gonna put this here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put another logging camp. Hmm. I actually can put this somewhere here. Can I put this somewhere next to this? Is, this is not really fitting in there well. I'm, I don't want to get these trees away. I'm just... This is where some fields may actually go. You know what? I'm just going to put this here. Because it's not really in the forest, so that should be good. I'm going to bring this connection down. People will have to build quite a lot. Um, so fuel is really not ready. But I think, you know, the problem is they should be quicker now. As I only had one person working in here. Now we've got three. Can we put this thing on priority for the area? People. Um, that is all good. Where they are living? Uh, they're living actually pretty okay-ish nearby, which is which is good, I guess. Well, uh, so food-wise, we have a lot of berries. Uh, these things do I believe we couldn't, we could have had even more berries by just having more space in the granary, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this one too. I need more space. With more people, we need more space. Okay, um, as you can see, regional wealth is going up a little. Uh, but I wanted to invest some time into getting a little looky look into our industry. So this is the clay furnace, uh, furnace and we can make clay to clay tiles. So as we do have a clay pad pit over here, we should definitely put this thing down right next to it. There we go. And we can basically check out this one. And I want to, I want to actually, you know what, I'm just going to bring this one to a very nice area like this. And let me put down a well right away because I, I remember that we should have the water. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna put, this is this is pretty sweet. We can have two or more. There's some, some decent water over here. One, two, three, not enough the good. Okay, we have not enough goods, but this is all being built. Can I, I can't go any higher. Okay, but I think it's time for another time lapse, I guess, uh, to see what's going on. And you know, as we do this, we can also put down more houses just so they have more to do um, because we have a winter ahead anyway. So we can just see if that works. So let's have a look if we can snap some more in here. Oh, we don't have enough goods. Ah, dang it. Okay, we have zero timber at this point, uh, so we need to ensure that they keep working first. Um, though, this might actually be a big issue at all. Ah, da -da 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 -da. They can't really do anything without timber. I think I made a huge mistake over here. Um, let's go down with the priority of these things and actually put these ones on the highest. The pit is built. Firewood. Firewood. The mining pit isn't even built completely. Okay, well, that is interesting. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We just had an auto save over here, so that should be fine. Um, I'm gonna put in the camera right in this place over here. Let's create a new one. And we're going to keep having a little time lapse at this spot.
right, we just increased our level again, uh, which I don't know why we did, <laughs> but it's good to know that we did. Uh, can we just see what, what that was? Um, next level, small town. We have large village. Um, okay, I, d I really don't know. It might have been because of more upgraded houses. I didn't pay attention to that, but it's it's still good to have that. Now, um, we have March, and this means we've 11... Look at that, we have so many families unassigned. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring enough people uh, into the farms to really do that thing at the beginning um, to ensure... Oops, that is the wrong one. That we have got enough stuff going on in the farms. And you know what, just this one there and one more here, just to ensure that we've, everything is done. Large granary is being updated. As you've seen, it, it took a lot of time now to do these things, um, which I guess is down to the fact that we don't have actually too much um, help from ox and stuff. So we really do need the livestock rather soon um, with the trade. So uh, I can... If the thing is, I'm, I'm not even sure if, would it prioritize this or not, but um, we have enough space at least for a stable and pasture, that is good. Um, so I'm really looking into going for trade and we have like so much stone and we can say export and what we're going to do, I mean it's going export prices one, but it doesn't matter. Um, the desired surplus can go all the way down to like 200 or so because I really like we can sell that it doesn't even matter. Can I can I shift press? Oh, yeah, I can that's a lot easier. Uh, so shift press goes a lot quicker in my book. So there you go establish a trade route. Let's do this establish and uh, trade route unlocked for stone love it. So this is what I got to do uh, before trading in general I guess but Roof tiles, root required. We can't establish it over here, but um, as soon as we have the wealth back, we will definitely do this. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so I assume this is also why this wouldn't work. Or do I have to... Come on, come all. Feast your eyes I don't even need to do this. Okay, that, that works from itself, I guess. So nice, I think. Okay, but Berry we'll so see. First of all, we need to ensure that we have... Um, we have trade uh, invested over here. Order a new horse, not enough wealth. Okay, well, this is fine. I wonder if that makes sense to go already into the better deals to not spend that much wealth as we're not doing that much wealth. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that because we need to import quite a bit. So I'm gonna do it this way. Tavern supply is not given food. I mean, they need more stuff now as they're bigger. I do get this. Look, there is also so much stuff we can give them. Five wealth, blacksmith workshop. Enables production of tools, spares, and sidearms. Oh, look at that. Brewery extension produces ale from mold. We don't have mold. What is that? Enables production of cloth and cloaks and... Oh, my God. Oh, I want to spend this so badly. This is what they meant by what you can give them access to with these artisan houses now. Oh, that is... That is mega. I'm really looking forward to this, uh, but I'm, I, I don't give them the access to it now. Uh, I want more people to build over here. Whoa, wait, wait, what, what the heck? Why do we have a sheep? Wait, stop, 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 stop. Where does the sheep come from? I mean, I'm not complaining, but how do we have a sheep? Who are you? This is all a sheep going somewhere. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is interesting. Livestock. But there is... I don't get this. So this is a pasture? Oh. Can I... Can I get you somewhere? Because, obviously, the sheep farm doesn't have this one. How do I get this dude over to there? Can someone get it, please? <laughs> Whatever. I, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I just simply don't understand. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, uh, it may actually take too long until they are built, but... Um, so, how is the stone situation down here? So, that's empty. And we got a couple of stuff. Okay, so, well, I think we need to leave that person down there. I'm just wondering if we can get... I mean, it's crazy. Uh, uh, but I do believe that some plots have more families than one in. So maybe that is why. Oh, interesting. So I remember we did upgrade this one. So there may actually be more families living in there. Can we see how many people are living in here? People. There you go. Resident families. One of one. One of one. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we need to make a lot more houses because everything is occupied. You know what? Let's go to the time lapse to see that this is going to be done.
we all know what that means, don't we? All right, so after this time lapse, I think it's time to end the very first episode of Menelaus Early Access. But uh, no worries, you don't need to wait that long for the second one. It's going to be released right after today. Um, so, a couple of little things I just want to highlight before ending the episode, just because I'm too much caught in here. I'm not sure if you guys saw that in the time lapse, but one thing I just like about this game is that, especially when you um, build in an area where there are already pre-made trees, they do not just chop the trees down and they're gone, but they're actually using them in the space they have chopped them down. So some of the locks were actually reused for the buildings that have been placed down here. So really do like that. And also, um, we started just building a little manor over here, which you cannot see, but this is something for the second episode. This is where you can actually build some castles and towers and stuff like that. So this is, this is going to be very interesting. Um, and also you can see how our marketplace slowly but steadily is starting to grow. Look at that. Uh, trade is going better, lots of stuff is going on, and gosh, there are like so many games out there with like building games like this, where the people and everyone is like glitching through everything and looking so weird, but this over here, my friends, feels absolutely weirdly alive, and ah, uh, you know what, uh, we are going to just visit our town once more. There is an ox coming. By the way, I just ordered a lot more ox because we are now selling so many goods that this is really, really nice. Um, and if we run over here, let's go a little bit away from the market, which is a bit... It's a bit loud, uh, but you can see everything is just moving and everything is just working. We are up the hill over here, so this is becoming one of my favorite places. I mean, just look at that. This could be like an early version of Skyrim. I don't know. It's it, it just like, I mean, I, I, I can't even put it in words. This game, for me personally until now, really kept all its promises and um, it just it just held up to the expectations for me personally. Uh, you know, do I need someone to run through here? I mean, it's, it's a gimmick, but it's it's a very nice gimmick. Look, there's like a broken down wagon or something. At least they are building a wagon. Something like that, I don't know. Can we go through the building? By the way, it's open. Can I go in here? Ah, dang it. But I, I just have a little look inside. Never mind. We can just go out of here and then just have a look. Oh my god, this looks so good. And the clothing and everything. We're just gonna have a little journey through our area. Look, there's like a little flux field. And we just have a little journey through here. This is where the manor is gonna go. Ah, oh, okay, but this episode is already way too long. So let's jump out of here and have a look from above one last time. I uh, really hope you guys appreciated this first episode of Manor Lords. Early access. To the early access, I guess is how it's called. Uh, now go nuts in the comments. Please let me know how you ex uh, how you like this video. Make sure that you also let me know how you like the you know bit fours and back between time lapse and, and and normal commentary and uh, how you wish to have it in the second episode. If you have something I have missed out on or you want to see specifically that we highlight in the next videos, let me know in the comments down below. I really wish you guys are as excited as I am because I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you can tell. And, uh, well, that's it. I see you tomorrow in the next one. Until then, have a good time. Bye!